Hi guys and welcome back to another video on my channel. Today I will be showing you how to create this burn victim look. This look is inspired by the Alexis Stone on Instagram, his work is incredible, make sure you go and check him out. He really inspired me to create a burn victim on myself with a distorted lip. To start, I wanted to make my lip distorted, so I took a plaster bandage and some Prosade and I put the Prosade down on my skin first, waited for that to dry, and then I put the plaster on, on the lip first and pulled the lip upwards towards my eye. Then using 3D gel, which is basically gelatin, which is flesh coloured, you need to melt it down before it can be used. I then started putting this on top of the sellotape first because it is very hot and as it started to get cooler I put it directly onto my skin. Because my plaster bandage was quite visible I decided to put a lot of gelatin on top of that first and then started bringing it onto the skin more towards my cheek. I am pulling the gelatin around a lot here as you can see just to create the texture as if you look at a normal burn it is very textured and has holes and pulls in it as if the skin had just been melted. start to see here that the gelatin is starting to set into place and is beginning to become unmovable so if this does happen feel free to melt down some more and use that on top. I did decide I wanted my nose to flow into the burn, so I added some more gelatin onto it which will appear now. So yeah, that looked better. I'm then taking some translucent powder and just powdering all over the gelatin just to set it in place. As you can see here I did have colouring on my forehead just because I was copying a reference image but I didn't really like it so I did rub it off in the end as you'll see soon. Then using my favourite method of splattering I'm adding colour to the gelatin. Just using pinks, reds and any colours that scream burn to you. I'm then adding some more detailed areas of a deeper red just to make it look like that the burn is oozing with blood. This is where I decided I didn't like the colouring on the forehead so I wiped it off using a makeup wipe. I'm then adding some purples and blues onto the eyelid and underneath of the eye just to make it look bloodshot and really sore. I did add blood into the nostrils as well and into the deep red areas of the burn and because the gelatin is naturally shiny it did work in my favour and made it look really gross. And there we have a burn victim. Feel free to recreate this look and tag me on Instagram 
at evergore underscore. I can't wait to see it and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.